we've got a new firmware update for the Hikerjian Dolphins that we have anticipated so much because it just had to be changed. It, I mean, it just felt wrong that there was no such a functionality. I mean, Wi-Fi Dolphins with P2P support, which are eventually displayed in the High Connect phone app, but only through such a monitor and there's no and there was no other way and a lot of people asked high question for this so thanks to the added functionality in the last firmware update you no longer need a monitor to use the phone functionality of the those stations and to display the device in high connect on your phone no more my name is Daniel, you're on the People Systems Store channel, where we've got for you all that you might need for your video surveillance system, including this, door stations, and many else. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Uh, so, we supply the power and the network to the device. I have it here uh, done in a form of a single twisted pack cable coming from a PoE switch as the device, all the device are PoE enabled and now we need a PC to um, activate it. So let's go there. And not stopping the recording, there we go. You need either, uh, you need three tools, I mean one of three, uh, one out of three tools, it's either IBM S3200s, the batch configurator tool that I am using for this purpose because, well, um, it's all in one tool. So yeah, you can achieve everything you want with devices and the CADP, but it's kind of limited a bit. So uh, my recommendation to go with Bash Configurator because it's uh, all in one. Yeah, tamper alarm means that the device is finally online uh, after we have uh, turned it on. All right, so uh, we check here uh, where the uh, where we see the onlyest un unactive device, which is 6115 DOS station, and press activate. Coming up with the password here, the one that you want, it just had to be a uh, eight symbols. And uh, now uh, pressing the edit network parameters, which we do through a DHCP button. And basically what it does, if you don't know, so a router, a Wi-Fi router, uh, it just assigns the personal address for it and we do nothing. Uh, we just uh, confirm with our uh, admin password. Well, the one that we have uh, just created, I mean, basically, there we go. There we go, now refresh a few times. One, two, three, four, and there we go. Now it's got a local address because it was zero and zero, meaning a factory settings. From here, we press add. So adding to our uh, main group, same password again, okay. And there we are. Now, the only thing we literally need now is to press this button, which is the upgrade. And for this, oh, hold on, can I do it? Can I just, can you just drop it here? I don't, I don't know. Oh, no, I can't. I thought I could. All right, and we go to the desktop and locate the dgcap.dav file. It's always named like this for a uh, hike vision. Press an OK and it started waiting for the upgrade yep there it goes there it goes so after uh, the device uh, will reboot and uh, that's all it takes and uh, after that we'll just uh, go to the phone so uh, skip it to the next part in fact all that uh, we have done is we've activated the uh, panel assigned it the correct address in our network and updated its firmware and now we add it to the High Connect uh, phone app. So that's just all that we do. Add and uh, that's it with a light hand movement. And yeah, this is what really awesome about this uh, firmware. No any extra actions done. You just scan the QR code, okay, and that's it. The dose station is now uh, in your account. The thing is that earlier it literally didn't work, nor the code scanning or the manual adding a device did nothing. It could only be added uh, via such a monitor. And now boom, and that's all. And well, inside of the app, uh, you get uh, everything, uh, common settings of yours, live view, opening the uh, door, the door is open, taking a screenshot, taking a video, and etc. Let's just go through the stuff and you can see the delay is pretty much nice, really. All right, so a screenshot to the audio. Hello. Shouldn't have done that. 
door is open. And now the final item we gotta do, we gotta go into its settings and we have to turn on the notifications because uh, let me show you. Calling failed. Calling failed, right? That's one, one Calling more. failed. Calling failed. But if we turn on the notification here, go back. So uh, now also my uh, phone recording uh, going to turn off, but whatever. Uh, you just uh, have to see this. So press the button. And I get a call, right? I get a call right here. And it all works. So yes, yeah, screen recording stops. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. What's left is to only uh, wait for the release of this firmware because now uh, this video is a preview. It's not public yet, will be soon, and as soon as this soon comes, you'll be notified about that here on the channel. So uh, click the bell icon, the subscribe, and you can also get these those stations on our People System Store following on this link with 10% discount from now till the uh, December end, till the new year. And uh, thank you for watching.